my childhood dream but like yeah when i was 3 uh, or 4 years old i was obsessed with charlie chaplin when i was growing up we didn't have any cartoons so on sunday mornings we used to have non stop showing of 2 hours of charlie chaplin i was just in love with him then i started working for an advertising agency and uh, every time they didn't have money for a model i was put in front of the camera and then i got a break on a huge tv series uh, called sara akash and um, i liked acting my first tv series i played uh, an undercover terrorist okay so i'm at this airport one day and there's a little kid air in front of me in the line And he looks at me, and he suddenly recognizes me as the terrorist. Then this kid just goes ballistic. He starts screaming. He's like, "Terrorist!" Yeah, India is a land of colors. Uh, yeah, I love colors. Our colors have a very different significance. Uh, Uh, like white for us is the color of death when somebody dies red is the color of the bride and uh, and in between we have like a trillion colors more colors than anybody else in the world tv series when you do it of course you get more attached to it because you do it for a much longer time so you know it's like i miss my tv crew and the cast from the tv series are uh, we are very good friends even today Movies, of He's course, are for his wife, the big screen. The, that's what everybody aspires Shania. to do. And from there begins the complexities and confusions about which girl to choose. Bollywood is supposed to turn out movies with happy endings and uh, stories which which are not uh, in tune with continuity. Like you know, uh, there'll be a poor guy from the slums, and the next cut, he is dancing in Greece. Well, there is a reason for this escapist cinema. Uh, most of the country is uh, very poor, and there's so much strife in their life that when they go to the movies, they don't want to see that. They don't want to see a, a poor guy dealing with his day-to-day -day difficulties. You know what they want to see is uh, blue skies, uh, flowers blooming, pretty women, lovely clothes, all of that. and and some of these people will probably uh, have never traveled abroad and probably never will because of their economic status it's not that they don't want to see the world so bollywood is also a way for them to see the world there is a way to to you know have uh, intellectual content and yet entertain the audience it's fish pasta Marriages are in, uh, are a huge issue in the smaller uh, villages, but in big cities, I think um, I think they have pretty much done away with. Is it a male-dominated society? Yes, it is. and and now for the last uh, about 20 years of the major party the congress party is a woman so and we have a lot of strong women leaders in our country um according to me a good movie is 
is a movie that leaves you with something, something to think about. And when you take, you, of course, you have to be entertained. It can't be like a preachy movie. My favorite directors is Majid Majidi. He's an Iranian director. Except for the protagonist, most other people are not actors. My favorite actor has to be Leonardo DiCaprio. And um, actress would be... Hmm. Uh, Penelope Cruz? What's love for me? I think when you want to really spend the rest of your life with somebody that's being in love and love should not be restricting and and believing in their dreams and you know letting them live so yeah and, and i believe i've found that in my partner i've found the wrong stuff <laughs> His name is Naresh Kamar and uh, he has a band called Kailasa which is India's number one band and yeah, you can google them and find the music online. Now, being here at New York Film Academy is, has been one of the best experiences of my life. Uh, after so many years of working, it's great being back to school, trained to be in class on time and stuff. Uh, it's, but I must say, I've never worked so hard uh, in a long time. But it's, it's good, it's thrilling. And uh, I, I remember when I, when I finished editing my first film, it was, it was such a high, it was a different kind of high. You know, it was like something, this is I, what I've made. And I must add that when I go back and go back in front of the camera, I am going to go back with so much more respect for every technician on the set <laughs> now that I've experienced it for myself.